Hey, what's up guys? It's Soferka here and welcome back to some more of the Let's Play, the Jolly Old Let's Play on the Jolly Old Brit server. Now, I am right now awake at 4 a.m. and I stated that inside my Stashcraft video. You guys haven't checked that out. It's not, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it's not that great of a video. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to be more enthusiastic in this one. Because I'm gonna be up, uploading that video, this video, and one more video on the Minecraft server. So, those three videos are going to be up going up today as as of this moment right now it's going to be up by tomorrow well uh well it's gonna be up today you know today tomorrow i don't know time not working for me right now and overall it's not working so anyways we are in the 1.4.4 update for minecraft which means optifine raise mini map i don't know other things mod loader advanced anything mod any mods that are supposed to be with me right now aren't working so you guys are gonna have to stick with kind of the default minecraft and within oh and my texture packs they are not updated at either so you're gonna have to deal with the defaults of pretty much everything and also because my computer sucks and optifine generally helps with my frames but because i don't have it my computer sucks right now so you guys are gonna have to deal with the tiny render distance and I'm gonna be honest, the tiny render distance is not that bad. It actually looks really cool. So let's go ahead and check this out. As you can see, kind of like a freaky Silent Hill type ambiance to it. And I, I really do like it. I mean, look at that. That's really cool. Kind of like buildings coming out of the fog. And the fog's pretty much everywhere. So yeah, in this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and show off to you guys the potato farm. Yes, I'm gonna be showing off the potato farm. Look at that. Look at this potato farm, yeah, buddy. As you can see, it's pretty much it's pretty much done, and I think should I upload the point five update? Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna show off too much of this because in the point five video, which is gonna be before this one, so actually there's gonna be four videos for you guys. So look forward to that. So four videos today, and in the point five, I pretty much show off the interior of the potato farm. So let's go ahead and start with the new project I'm gonna be working on, which is the farm over here if you guys recall i have a tree farm way back here and a tree farm is going to have it's not going to be a building per se it's actually going to be a giant wall so you can see this is a tree farm that my friend nightmare made for me and i never got around to making tree farms because i suck at just replanting trees and just leaving it be in general so yeah i'm gonna i'm actually gonna put down some spruce wood if I have, or not spruce, jungle wood. I need to grab some jungle wood, put it down, and then start growing them. Actually, no, I don't have any jungle wood at the moment, so I'm just gonna start working on the wall for now. But yeah, that's gonna be our next project. It's gonna be the wall for the, pretty much the tree farm. And then, again, guys, it's gonna be another underground shindig type business deal, where it's gonna be like, oh yeah, it's nice and pretty at the top, and underground, it's gonna have like the production, the huge tree farm, the legitimate kind of thing. Like, if you guys know, I like having like a little small, innocent, quote unquote, type deal for the surface, but when you go down below, that's where the real industry comes up, and holy shit, Winterville is freaky at night. I mean, look at this. If you have tiny render distance, my god. So anyways, let's go and start with the walls. I haven't figured out how I want to do the walls yet because for one thing, it's a fairly complicated thing to work with. Since it's only going to be a wall and it's going to reach from ocean to ocean and it's going to be it's going to slightly go outwards out of the ocean and kind of like go into the ocean that way it's like people don't like kind of circumvent it you know what i mean it I, I don't know i don't know i'm tired it's 4 a.m well it's almost 5 a.m now so oh diamonds i gotta put that back so oh also i've been using my xp farm and this is this is the third time i've re i've repaired fully repaired sergeant tiggles from nearly broken to fully repaired and that's a lot of experience guys jesus if i just filmed me standing in front of the skeleton farm that would be nightmarish for you guys. I'm so happy I'm not doing that to torture you guys. You know, just for funsies. So, anyways, let's go ahead and think of what kind of... What kind of wood do I want to do? Should I do, like, a Neapolitan-type fence steel? Or should I just have it in one kind of stone? Like, stone bricks or something? Hmm. Hmm. What should I do? You know what? Because we're in a taiga, I'm going to go with dark wood. I like dark wood. Dark wood with... Let's see, I'm going to take these, 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 and that. 
dark wood. Maybe maybe some of these offense. Um, that I'm gonna take a crafting bench with me and to top it off, I'm gonna go ahead. Is this a chest? Yes, it is. I'm gonna take these with me and where's the fences? Fence, six fences. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more iron. So here, this is the deal, guys. It's gonna be two two wide fences and each one will have a column and a column will be dark wood so let's go ahead and turn this into that and where's the there it is uh one two three 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 boom sweet sweet titties so uh, let's go ahead and start working on this baby now I'm probably going to revise this a lot, mainly because I don't know what it looks like at the moment without Ray's... Wait, yeah, I don't know what it looks like, you know, in the overall scape of it, since I don't have Ray's minimap. So, it's pretty much me semi-winging this thing. Oh, by the way, there used to be a huge-ass lake here, and then I covered it up because lakes are... The lake was ugly. So, first, I want to... I want to get the full scope of this. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and... um. Figure out where the entrance is. Alright, here. So it's gonna start right here. One, two, three, and here. So, hmm, awkward. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to do nothing. I'll fix it later. So, let's see. It's gonna start right here where the sand is. Go sh I gotta make sure everything's lined up, because... I don't want to go back to here and like get all fucked up again. And again, key sprint mod for the love of God. Double tapping is so freaking retarded, especially in a recent update because I think the update fucked up sprinting to even like greaterness. Because right now sprinting is just terrible in the game. It's god awful. It it's it ruins parkour for me, honestly. And also like just PVPing sucks. So the entrance is gonna be right here. Which means I'm going to go ahead and start the right here. So I'm going to start with two, 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 oh, whoops. Oh, whatever. Two, whoa, whoa, lagging, 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 two. Okay, and now I'm going to go one, okay, how much is that? So one, two, three, four, five. I hate when I screw up because then I have to wait for the snow to cover it up, and I hate to wait for snow because snow is gay. No, no, no. Snow is awesome, actually. The problem is waiting for snow. That's the worst part. So, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, generally, this is actually... Oh, whoops. Ah, fracked again. So, one, two. Oh, oh lag. More lag. Low. You can buy a server for 250 on eBay. Woohoo! One, two. So one, two, three. One, two. I'm gonna go ahead and do two twos. Um, oh right. I'm gonna have to turn these into sexy wood. So what was that? One, two. One, two. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more productive on this, but you know, I, I kind of want to keep you guys entertained. Then again, I'm kind of really tired. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, uh, let me think of something that I've been doing recently in the past week. So, let's see. First off, i um, getting pretty good pay right now. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Because th thanks to taking the new shift, the new late shift, getting paid lots and lots of money, which means I can actually start upgrading some things for my computer and start, you know, kind of investing a little bit more into recording or completely throw it all away because I'm stupid like that. Anyways, so as you can see, one, two, three. Oh my god, I hate counting. I hate counting when I'm tired. Um, oh wait, um, should I start one, two? Um, hmm. um, ja. So yeah, throughout the week, what have I been doing? This week hasn't really been that exciting, actually. I mean, yes, my birthday just recently passed, but that was those are more like exciting, like three days of my life going on so this goes right here wow well, yeah the, these walls are gonna be a lot higher by the way the two is just to resemble represent what's going on one, two, one, two, one, two. whoops 
So then, um, right here, right here. That's not gonna work. The tree farm goes even farther. God damn it, nightmare! Nightmare, why must you do this to me? But why, dude? But why, dude? Seriously, bring back the BYD podcast. BYD was fucking hilarious. No joke. I I started listening to it like I don't know about a week ago. And oh, I already I fucked it up before I even fucking got it wrong. Lol. So I start I started listening to the BYD podcast like a week ago, and it's fucking hilarious. Not gonna freaking lie, it's so great. This the random conversations they have reminds me of like the stupid conversations I have with my friends, and it's just awesome. It's nice it's it's nice hearing the dumb side of my life <laughs> through someone else. It's it's great. So wow, this is gonna actually be really. This is gonna be really long, Jesus. Uh, and this hill is not helping. <sighs> Frick. Uh, so aside from uh, listening to the BYD podcast, I've actually, n uh, let's see. I'm, there's some. What I, what I really want to do is I actually want to join the Minecarp server. I'm gonna ask Ajax, and I'm gonna ask. No, excuse me. I have to swallow. Like, <laughs> I had to swallow, guys. I'm sorry, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna ask Ajax and Boxer if I could actually join the Minecraft server, just because I don't know. I, I want. I feel like I want to join a server that I feel 100% comfortable with. That's 100% survival vanilla. Mainly because my server, my personal server, yes, it's vanilla per se, but I, I feel like within a couple months, it's gonna become like a full creative server like it did before, and it it doesn't it doesn't last long. Which is incredibly shitty. Not gonna lie, it's incredibly shitty because then my creative, my creativeness is really dependent on just how I work things in a survival aspect. And I, I like here. First thing I want to clarify: I don't like creative mode. I hate creative mode. Okay, okay, never mind. I don't hate creative mode, but I I'm not a huge fan of it because because. I feel like a lot of the experience of Minecraft is lost when you go in creative mode. Which is why... Am I too high on this? Yeah, I think I am. I'm one too high. There we go. So, I, the creative mode, the creativeness of Minecraft is kind of lost. Which really sucks. One, two, three. Is that right? No, that's... Wait. Um, yeah, sorry. That, that was right. There you go. So yeah, this is generally how high the wall is. I'm probably gonna do another design to it, but I, I want to keep the wall. It's I'm so I'm I'm too tired to be doing this shit, guys. I love you too much. That's why though. So yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of creative mode. Creative mode, God, why? There's there's no moderators on the server, so there's nothing we can do about this. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Like people. People get annoying late at night on the server, and that's the thing. I'm always late on the server, but this is particularly late for me, so I guess it's um, pretty bad. But again, I don't like creative mode. Creative mode is great. People do amazing things. No freaking joke. The f uh, winter frost. Oh my god. Well, whatever. Um, slash mute Lewis. Great. I can't mute him. Like I just want to mute him for myself. But I guess you can't. I don't. I don't know how to do it. Uh, there we go. So yeah, there's people. People make some really crazy creative builds. No, no joke. Like I've seen the winter. Um, the winter. What's it called? Winterfell. I think it's called Winterfell. Yeah, Winterfell for Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game of Thrones, by the way, guys. I, big shock. I don't watch Game of Thrones. And the reason, the reason, I don't care how stupid it is, I don't like medieval. You guys can say whatever you want about it. It's not medieval. Um, it's fantasy, a lot of dragons. Definitely not medieval. I don't care. I don't care. It's not my, my it's not my cup of tea because it's medieval. And you guys can say it's not medieval. It's not even medieval. I, I probably, I'm probably just talking to my ass, but that's that's the persona i get from it that's the persona i get from the tv show that's a medieval tv show and it's not i'm not a fan of medieval things at all so i cannot get myself to watch game of thrones 
and my friends don't understand this. And you guys probably don't understand it either. It, like, even it doesn't even make sense to me in all honesty, but it's just, that's why I didn't get Skyrim, because Skyrim felt medieval to me. That is, and Game of Thrones and Skyrim are pretty much the same thing, like, from what I've seen. From what I've seen, it's pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, not a huge fan in the least. I mean, I, I'm, I get that's a good show, and I'll, if I do give it, like, I don't, actually, no, I'm going to be honest. If I gave it a few episodes, I still probably wouldn't like it. Not going to lie. Uh, okay, uh, well, this video has been recorded, so... Boxer, Ajax, if you're seeing this, there's a nice little spammer on the server right there. And we didn't have any moderators on the server to stop him. So, yeah, there's that. So, you know, little video proof going on right there. Yeah, buddy. But, yeah. Game of Thrones, not a huge fan. I've actually gotten into Sherlock. Uh, another thing about me, guys, is I like mystery. I like mystery novels. Or, not novels, but mystery TV shows. I do like mystery novels, actually. I read the Sherlock books. But I've actually gotten into the British show Sherlock. Great show. Great show. Very awesome. I finished the first and second season on Netflix. Great. And I'm looking forward to the third season right now. So, two British shows I'm looking forward to right now. Doctor Who and... Um, how high am I right now? Uh, give me one second, guys. Okay, so we are back, and I'm at coordinate um, 73Y. So yeah, by the way, I cut the video and brought it back up because I, normally I actually uh, check my... I have a side thing with Ray's Minimap where I can check the side, and you know it tells me like my height, but because I don't have Ray's Minimap... That doesn't work. So I actually had to cut the video, look at the coordinates, and bring it back. Because, again, I don't want you guys seeing the coordinates because I'm very, very, very protective of Winterville. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's five? Yes, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Sweet. I love these. I love... You know what? I'm going to start using Tiny more often because the just the atmosphere of it is so cool. That's so cool. It's like pillars. Look at that. It, that's that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a few more pillars. I'm probably going to cut the video here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little rant about... Um, it's not it's not really a rant. It's just my personal opinion about uh, Skyrim and uh, what's it called? Game of Thrones. I actually used to call it Game of Thorns for the longest time. Just because I thought Thrones and Thorns were like the same thing. But, you know, I, I eventually got used to it. So now I can actually, you know, calmly call it Game of Thrones. So water, I'm going to go ahead and dig this down and build upwards like that. Do I have any more? Nope, I don't have any more. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. So, again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Jolly Old Let's Play. And, you know, love you guys a long time. Thank you so much for supporting me because I do this as a hobby, but I also do this because it feels nice to actually get recognition and appreciation for like the things I do, which is why I like bringing these videos. I like to be consistent with my uploads on videos. So again, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Peace.